Welcome back, and in this video, we will be learning how to create a simple uh, daily or weekly or monthly 4D report inside of Synchro Pro. And we will be doing that in the same way that we would be creating an animation. So we'll go to 4D Review Ribbon and then click on Animations and the Animation Editor. We'll create our new animation. So I click Add. I'm going to call this Report, or let's call this Weekly Report. And then the first difference between creating an animation and a report is that instead of capturing the focus time keyframes, we're going to generate them using the feature right click and then generate timeline. And it will suggest automatically to start from project start and project finish. But if you want to create, for example, a look ahead uh, report or some narrower timeline, you can choose manual dates. I'll keep it as is. And then here we can say zero Start at zero and step one second. So it's incrementing one second between each keyframe. And then each keyframe is in project time captured at, we could do every one day for a daily report or every one week for a weekly report or every one month for a monthly report. So it would be every, uh, you choose which day of the month and for which month. So here we're gonna do every one week on a Monday and we'll click okay. So it generates all of those keyframes. And these are going to be very important because later when we generate our report, we're going to be exporting AVI. However, we're going to export the animation as a sequence of images, and we're going to set the frame rate to one frame per second. Now, since we have one frame per second and one keyframe per second, and each keyframe is generated on the first day of the week, this will be, end up being a weekly report. Now, before doing that, let's fix the camera angle. So this looks actually good for a simple report. It will be looking something like that. So I'll just capture one camera keyframe and then go there and export AVI. And then in the content tab, we're gonna design it as if we would design a report. So I made these windows a bit smaller and here I'll add some textual frames. So we can add some text, for example, active tasks or weekly tasks. I'm going to do active tasks and then I'll show you how to do weekly tasks. So I'm going to set the font to bold and then transparent background, add a new frame and then here choose active tasks and then add a new frame and then go back to content and choose those. I'll bring this 3D view to the bottom and then bring active tasks over here. And then this over here. And here we'd have a report that always shows the active tasks. However, I don't really want to show the active tasks since I'm doing a weekly report. What makes more sense is if I save this, hit cancel, then go back and create a task filter in this case. So we'll go to navigator and then task filters. I'm going to create a weekly tasks filter and that will be following a uh, look ahead based on the focus time for seven days so now if you go back to our animation and for our textual frame for the active tasks we're going to choose instead filter tasks and then hit apply and then we go back to our content and now it's showing the weekly tasks. We can scroll through the preview to see how that would look like. And then once we're done, make sure you're exporting as a sequence of images, make sure it's one frame per second and make sure it's the quality that you want as well as the location that you want. I'm gonna export them here and then click Save, and then click OK. This should end really quickly since it's only exporting one frame a second. We'll give it a few seconds. Okay. 
and we can go and check our animations or check our report images like this. Now as I scrolling my mouse we were seeing all of the different images and you can compile them into a PDF of course and create reports from that. Now I should have went ahead in the 3D view properties and hit that 3D path over here. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we go to 3D view properties and hide 3D path. So there you have it. In the next video, we'll have a challenge and we'll create a much more complex weekly report. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.